the best mechanics to learn at your rank. The first thing that I would learn if I could go back in time is things that you learn once, but once you know, you can replicate and use in any situation. Half flips, wave dashes, fast aerials, even things like speed flips. These are mechanics. Once you learn how to do once, you can apply in all sorts of situations. Start with the things that are the lowest difficulty and the highest utility. Once you've learned the one and done mechanics of Rocket League, you have the sort of core components. And this is where Rocket League sort of becomes choose your own adventure. In my opinion, the most simplistic but useful model I can give you is breaking up Rocket League mechanics into what I call the core four. Shooting, you have to be able to hit the ball with power. Dribbling, you got to control the ball. Defense, you have to be able to save the ball. And recoveries, you got to be able to move around the field. If you can do these four things well, you don't need any of the advanced stuff that we're going to be talking about later. When I'm thinking about shooting, I'm breaking down shooting into three main components I would work on. Aerial shots, aerials, and directional aerial. These three skills are what makes up a good shooting kit. Being able to aerial shot is going to help you score from different angles. Being able to properly aerial is going to help you score from different heights. And being able to properly directional aerial is going to give you the touches on the ball that you need to finish how you want. That's where I would start if I felt shooting was my weakness. If I felt dribbling was my weakness and I needed to invest more time in that, I'd break it down as follows. Bounce dribbling and carries are going to be how you move the ball around the field. And flicks are how you punish a defender. So if I was weak in dribbling, I would start there. Then you finally have defense and recoveries. If I'm thinking about defense, I'm including shadow defense, wall play, and backboard play in here. I would focus on shadow defense for one-on-one -on -one situations and then wall play and backboard play for like team defense. And then last thing I would talk about is recoveries. If I felt like my shooting is good, my dribbling is good, and my defense is good, but I'm just not in the right positions when I need to be, or I'm just not fast enough. That's when I would look at the recovery mechanics, holding power slide every time you land, using air roll to quickly get on and off the wall, wall dashes, squishy saves, ceilings, neutral jumps. These are the things that you start to think about if you feel like everything else in your kit is good and you need to juice just a little bit extra out of recoveries. That is kind of the core four and how I would think about it. What is the one thing that if I improved would give me the most results in my ranked play? And then if you can identify that's shooting, dribbling, defense, or recoveries, you then go into the weeds. So maybe my weakness is shooting. Well, why am I bad at shooting? Am I bad at shooting on the ground or am I bad at my area? Am I good at my aerials or am I bad with the precise touches? Am I bad with my air roll? These are the questions that I would ask before deciding what to train. On to the final thing that I would learn. If I could go back, I would actually probably delay the time I started what I call the advanced mechanics. So this is your air dribbles, double taps, resets, your ceiling shots, musty flicks, breezy flicks. These are things that are all useful, but in my opinion, if you're just trying to get the most rank results, you would learn these faster if you start after the core four. When I was champ, I started learning air dribbles and they were fine, but my air dribbles, you know, from the first couple hours I practiced them to when I was grand champ pretty much stayed the same. It was not until I learned air roll and I practiced rings maps that all of a sudden my air dribbles and my aerial play is so much better, not because I practice air dribbles more today than I used to, but only because I practiced air roll and because I practiced air roll that fed into all my other mechanics. And all of a sudden I could air dribble better. I could double tap better. I could flip reset better. It's this idea that the core categories, if you raise those up first, you learn everything else in the advanced category so much faster. And so if I could go back, that's kind of how I would learn it. I would save air dribbles, double taps, reset ceiling shots until I had 80% mastery of the core four shooting, dribbling, defense, recoveries. If you have more questions, please join our free school community. My team of RLCS coaches and I actually posted training routines in that free school page. So if you want to go learn my daily warm-up routine, we have custom protocols you can follow, and it's just a database of stuff completely free. You can join and leave whenever you want. So I'll have that linked first link down below. Now that you've seen this video, head down there, click, check them out, and I'll see you on the other side. Thanks so much for watching, guys.